Okay, here on the workbench we have um, something I got at the local antique mall in South County, St. Louis. I went there with my kids yesterday, walked around kind of looking for some Christmas presents. And lo and behold, found a nice little stash of tubes. Price tag on there. Of, oh, this tag's gone now, but there it was. It was a price tag of eight dollars for the box. And I thought, well, shoot, if I use even one of these tubes, it's worth eight dollars, and I'm likely to use more than one. So I started checking just to see what we had here. And right off the bat, we had a nice Jan. Nice Jan 6v6. All smoked out. Then we have a Raytheon. Uh, I can't read that one. I have to clean that up. That better look. But I think it's in there 6v6. Then this is a Cape Heart Made in USA 6v6 Cape Heart. Kind of dirty, but hopefully they're still good. Hopefully some of them test good. Then we have, let's see, an Emerson Made in the USA. Emerson 5 or 50 50L6 so I've never had an amp that has that yet but we'll see then we have a 6W4 GT made by GE never had to use for one of those yet And we got some nice metal tubes. We got a 6SQ7, the old RCA metal tube. We got a nice Sylvania 50C5. So that'll probably come in handy in a series filament amp at some point. And we got a RCA 25Z6. Haven't had a use for one of them yet. Might be another series filament jobber. Then we have a Raveler. R A V dash L A R Raveler made in USA. And it is another 25. L6. I'm gonna have to look with those up and see what those are. Then we have a Hytron CBS Hytron uh, 117 Z, so 117 Z6 GT. Yeah, I don't know what that's gonna be, too. But you know, sometimes you get some oddball stuff. And then we got a Loctal. Zenith Loctal, probably a little radio. Uh, one LH4. Haven't had a use for them yet either. That squeaking is my dog eating his chew toy. And then I have an RCA. Uh, 6SL7. Yeah, we might use one of those. It's RCA. And 
This is a 6AX4, Sylvania. Yeah, I at the store I only looked at a few of these tubes and after I saw some 6V6s I said, well, for $8, this box is worth it. We got a Zenith 6AX4. Not sure what these two. I haven't ran into those yet, but I've only been in this hobby for a couple of years now, restoring old radios and converting stuff to guitar amps. And we got an oddball. I think this is a maybe a photo tube or something. It's an RCA. I think it says eight eight six eight or eight C eight maybe. Maybe eight oh eight. Not sure. It has a forty eight written inside the tube. Don't see that too often. That's a weird tube. I don't know what that that would be too. Then we got an old Coke bottle. One Coke bottle. A National Union. National Union made in USA. Long life tube. Complete renewal service for all radios. Test date 27. Test date. I don't know if you could read that on the video. Test date 27. Date sold, nothing. Now, I don't know what this tube is though. I don't see a label. Anyway, that's unfortunate. We'll look at that more later. Another Locto Philco tube, surely probably old radio. A seven seven A seven A eight Philco Locto. We've got a radio, a 1946 Philco that takes seven H eights, I think, or seven H sevens. So a little different. Then we got a nice 6X5 rectifier. I got one of these, I believe, also in my Webster wire recorder. I believe that takes a 6X5. Here's another 6X5. This one's an Admiral. That last 6X5 was a GE. Boy, they sure look similar. Admiral and GM, and I wouldn't be surprised if this one's made by GE too, but never know. Then we got oh, I've got a, I've got an RCA radio that takes these six J fives. I've got a late forties RCA um, PA PAM that has these. RCA metal tubes in them. And we got another Loctal Old War tube. Uh, 1LN5. Yeah, RCA again. That had this little speaker connector in here. Might come in handy on a restoration. Might not. We'll throw it in the jar and see. And I guess this bracket probably came off an old radio. Probably not anything worth anything to me. The rubber's all cracked. What not. Then we got a 6SK7. This is an RCA. It's got a weird base. It's got metal. And then plastic down here. But it's not a Loctal. I don't think. So, I think it was made 43rd week of probably 1946 or 56. I'm going to say 46 made with this weird metal base. I don't know. And 
Then we got one that's got the grid on top, a 6S8. This is a GE. I haven't had one of these for anything yet. And then we got a 6N7. It's a tall metal one, Sylvania. Sylvania radio tubes. It's fine, they got date sold, test, and date tested on there. Then we got little tube of BFQ, no, B, BE6, 12BE6, I think, or maybe, yeah, I think it's 12BE6, GE made in USA. I don't think I've had one of these yet. And then we have a 12AT6, so that might come in handy. Hey, for guitar amps, if it still works. Sylvania. Then this one should be good. A 6SQ7. I think we had another 6SQ7. RCA. We got another 6X5 rectifier. So we're, I think that's three 6X5 rectifiers now. RCA. Yeah, that'll be, those will come in handy. Another 6SQ7. I think I have an amp that has some of these. This one's, man, this one will clean up nice. It's in good shape. Date code of 7, probably 1947, 22nd week. I got this. Funny little tube. Um, I haven't had one of these before, I don't think. 6H6. Funny little metal tube. Also an RCA 6H6. Another one with a grid on top. Sylvania. And I can't read what it is. Don't see anything. Maybe this is it. 1G3GT. Hopefully that's its identifier, probably. Or a 1B3GT. Warning, set voltage may produce harmful x-rays unless tube is shielded. Ooh, don't know what that came out of. Maybe a TV. I don't know. We may not find a use for that one. Then we got a Sylvania 19JN8. Uh, 19JN8. Haven't seen one of those before. And we have this one, looks like just about everything's rubbed off of it. <laughs> There's a little bit of writing right there, it's left, but man, I just, I can't read it. That's a bummer if you can't figure out what it is. Looks like a pretty good tube still. Had that white writing on there and somebody just rubbed it right off. I hate when they printed them with the stuff that just comes right off. Instead of something more permanent. Then we got this little clip. Probably a maybe a light went in there and a wire came out there and it was from a radio and it clipped onto the chassis somewhere. Probably that's what that was. Yeah, I think yeah, your light would just go down in there and then twist and lock in. Right there. We got five metal tubes left. A six SF5. And this is RCA Victor. Made in USA. This one's probably bad. This one looks like it's seen some water. It's all rusty. It's a Delco. 
Delco and I can't it doesn't seem to say what it is huh, that's right this one's probably oh six SK7 I think this one is a six a eight with the grid I believe on top Uh, 6 SA7 RCA Victor RCA Victor and script small writing down there and I don't see a date code on that one and then the last one a tongue saw made in USA 6 SK7. A bunch of SK7s. Hopefully I find a use for them. Probably old radio or something. Alright. So even if I use only a couple of these for $8. A whole box of tubes. You can't beat that. It was a good day at the antique mall. They had all kinds of neat stuff. A couple old Zenith radios and some old TVs there. They had a lot of neat stuff that day. Thanks for watching.